Thomas DeWitt. Welcome to free online art classes. We're going to do some basic printmaking today. I'm going to show you how to make a simple printing plate out of found materials in cardboard. From the printing plate, you'll be able to make prints. So let's begin. So here I have my materials for printmaking, our print plate that we're going to make today. I have uh, cardboard, and I have an assortment of various things that I've collected that will make some interesting textures. Uh, what did I collect? Just went around the house and got some spaghetti, which I've broken up into little pieces. I found this nice mesh. Uh, I think some onions came in that mesh bag. <laughs> some lentils, uh, some rice, some tea. Uh, here's some fishing line I'm going to use, a couple pieces of old fabric, and some aluminum foil. And that's what I'm going to use for my plate today. Okay, so everything's about ready to uh, start the plate. This is an old table. Uh, you may want to protect your table because you're going to be using glue. This is just a, a cup of uh, Elmer's glue. I just poured it into a cup to make it easier to use, um, and I'm just using an old, an old brush. Uh, it sh you should probably use a fairly soft brush um, because then you can, it's, I think it would spread the glue better. And so I'm, I'm just going to start. I don't really have anything in, in mind, um, but maybe as I work something will come to mind. I'm going to put the, the glue on one area of the plate, like here. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some lentils there for now. That should give a nice texture. Then, over here maybe I'll put some. Now this spaghetti is interesting because it, it, it has like little lines. It, it almost is like a drawing. <laughs> because it's, you're making lines then they will probably print that way. I think I'm going to try some tea. Um, let's put the tea right here. You can, ink, you can uh, glue up the whole plate first if you want. I'm just doing sections. I'm just going to keep this very basic. And that's sort of interesting. Maybe I'll put a little of this texture in there as well. Tack it down a little bit. Now let's try some aluminum foil. That over here. Make sure you use plenty of glue. When I'm done with all of these items, um, gluing them down, I'm going to go over it a little bit with glue again. And uh, that's a good idea because you don't want to lose any of the items on the on your plate. On the other hand, if you paint over it with glue, you probably pick some items up. So just make sure that you have plenty of glue down on your plate. I'm going to try some of this fishing line. It's sort of in a circle already, which is kind of nice. So maybe I'll just put some fishing line there. You want to make sure everything's glued down really well because when you print it, you're going to be pressing paper on it. And you want to make sure that holds up to that pressure of pressing the paper on it. So I've got this sort of circular thing going, and then this is just going to be an abstract kind of. Design, I think. Oh, maybe a little more rice over here. More texture. This 
is coming along quite nicely, I think. Maybe a few more pieces of spaghetti here. And let's see. The cloth. Um, yeah, I may just do that up here. Make sure that especially is down. The exciting thing about making a plate like this, of course, is that you, you don't really have, I don't have any idea what this is going to look like. Um, it's always a surprise, which is neat, I think. I like the surprise. I like the idea of surprise. Hmm. I'm going to cut this, put that right there. I'm going to make sure everything is. Now, this is going to have to dry. And then I'm going to have to coat it, once it's dry, with some sort of shellac or some kind of varnish so that it is, uh, so that the plate can be printed. If I, if I left like this, I'm not so sure that I could, I could, the paper would probably pull everything up off the plate. So once this is dry, then, um, then I'm going to, to put a resist on it so that I can print it. I think that's